Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just here. So today ended the uh, tenth round, and it's four rounds to go. Um, uh, Fabiana lost, so uh, uh, Nepo has huge lead of uh, 1.4 uh, points ahead of uh, everybody else, which is huge. Uh, so it's tie for second place, and Hikaru, Fabi, and Dean Luran are fighting uh, for the second place and potentially a match for world championships. Because uh, Magnus Carlsen, of course, would never, I think, believe that um, Ian will win the next candidates, uh, but uh, Ian wins it. And uh, uh, so I don't know whether uh, Magnus will be excited to play this match uh, against Ian. So we'll see. Uh, and uh, I also read that Fabi considered to be very. Uh, a strong um, uh, player to bounce back after the loss because he lost uh, a game against Hikaru um, last time and uh, this uh, and the next game he like he could bounce back I remember Kramnik did so within like five years uh, last five years of his career and it was very uh, typical for him to lose a game and the next day win and this time, so Fabi, like, uh, I don't know, we say, uh, made the uh, short castles, yeah, uh, just two zeros in a row, and it's, uh, it's just uh, not enough to uh, somehow, not showing uh, really that um, he will, like, qualify. All right, so let's see the game. Uh, Fabi plays black pieces and uh, this tournament many players already mentioned that um, many commentators said that uh, it's really hard to play for win with black uh, in this tournament um, I previously thought that black is doing very well, but uh, again probably just uh, evolve a little bit and now white manages to find a lot of advantage uh, bishop c4 Italian. I also play like this now with white. c3, knight f6, d3. So for a kids tournament, uh, you want to place your uh, knight to c3, but uh, grandmasters they place this pawn in order to take away uh, this d4 square and maybe later in the game uh, play d4. d6, castles. Uh, a6 giving uh, this bishop uh, square on a7 a4 taking a lot of space which players appreciate uh, rook a1 so I'd play h3 here uh, I don't know very much of theory I just don't want uh, this bishop to go to g4 but uh, I know if uh, I play something like this, so you might need. I would do this, I think. Uh, yeah, Engine says that black is better, yeah, but uh, basically, uh, I just had this kind of pins. But uh, of course, they know better. h3 now. And bishop is 6 So this bishop is 6 I. Um, Probably typical, but I see a lot of players trying to hide their bishop on c2 because when you have advantage in the center, you don't want to exchange too, too much pieces, but uh, uh, you can play this way as well. Uh, b4 um, and knight to h5. So in this uh, setups, black has attack against the king, which uh, works pretty good against lower rated opponents but uh, on the stop level it's uh, not that critical and white has advantage on the queen side and try to disrupt these pieces yeah because uh, even though they they now uh, currently they're fine but uh, when we strike them with b5 for instance we can create a lot of threats uh knight to d2 Knight f4, just going against the king. 
and queen to f6. So uh, Fabi shows that he again wants to push uh, against uh, the the king. Knight to h3, I think, is a threat. If you take, then uh, queen takes f3 is uh, is possible. So Duda took the knight and played queen to b3. Uh, again, uh, show uh, attack in this e6 pawn. So in this position, Fabi made a um, quite serious mistake. It's not that heavy uh, engine-wise, but um, um, it's uh, strategically it's um, a big risk. Yeah, Queen f6 was um, a more correct move. Just uh, you just have to take um, to understand that. Uh, for us, it looks always scary. Yeah, this bishop, this rook, and queen, and people just collapse when they see so many pieces. But for grandmasters, it doesn't mean a lot. And uh, Fabi played this move before, and White already gets an advantage. Yeah, because um, uh, this uh, b7 is a threat. Uh, so. Uh, Fabio played uh, knight to a5 and queen to a2. <laughs> Again, at lower level, uh, it, it's not that bad knight, you might say, but actually it stood there against uh, until the end of the game. Not really till the very end, but uh, um, basically white, white's queen is very good here and uh, they have like an extra piece. So g5, Fabi goes all in. Uh, and this is, that's why chess is a strategical game. Yeah, it's like not about um, playing on the queen side or playing on the king side. It's also part of the strategy. Yeah, but part of the strategy is uh, plan for the game. Yeah, Fabi decided that he, he will play against uh, his opponent uh, with black for a win, yeah, and it costed him, and that's why he was forced to play moves like that, yeah, but um, uh, Grandmasters in the chat were saying that uh, just he will put his knight on h2 and uh, black has nothing, so that's what happened. Rook g6, uh, d4, so with queen on f6, it would, wouldn't be possible to play d4, and uh, it turns out that uh, with d4, white gets even more advantage, because they close this bishop, and this knight is also out of play. g3, rook to d1. Um, so white's uh, developed perfectly, this queen here does a lot of damage to black pieces, uh, I would play something like g4, but um, probably knight h4 with tempo is good and uh, just doesn't work out for uh, for black because uh, when you have knights fighting against this uh, uh, like major pieces, then uh, you don't have good game. So he goes back. King h1 is a good move. Uh, doubling on the f file takes and h4. Uh, uh, after g4 then knight to g5 is annoying, yeah, and if you take here then it's uh, mate, not mate, but uh, uh, yeah, rook f1, something like this. Uh, and uh, black doesn't have a big attack, so uh, so he took and uh, uh, he took back. Uh, knight h4 is also good, but uh, uh, when these pieces are over here and white's pieces are actually attacking, they have now g5 square, then uh, Duda decided that he will just uh, win the g file and then uh, uh, black will be in big trouble. Uh, bishop to d6, very poor. Uh, placement for this bishop, um, I don't know, I wouldn't play like this, uh, but uh, he needed probably to defend this uh, e5 pawn somehow. Knight to g5, queen e2, attacking h5, so he saw it, takes rook to g3, 
and uh, takes the pawn. Uh, um, Angel suggests th that. Uh, uh, yeah, you can just take here. Uh, Rook g3. There was a lot of tactics. Yeah, but tactics works because for white because this bishop doesn't do anything and white has like three extra pieces on the king side. So obviously every tactics works for for them. So queen e2. Uh, queen to f1 is uh, shows that it's a small mistake. Uh, Queen to d3, according to engine, is much better, but... Okay, queen f1. Uh, just black's position, black doesn't have counterplay, so uh, white ca has the luxury of uh, making a lot of random moves. Uh, queen f8. He defended. Double rooks. And knight to h7. Um, uh, so it wins material, I think. Uh, this is the only move. Knight to g5. E6 square is weak. And f4. So f4 was uh, an excellent move. Engine was not uh, like giving white plus 3. But with this knight um, and these pieces are very far, uh, it's extremely hard to defend. You have to defend this and... Uh, this knight jumps are, it's all just re real bad for, for black here. So f4 is an excellent move. If you capture here, then e5 wins because of this. And you have double attack on uh, knight and pawn on h5. And you have to give up a piece to save from mate. So play knight to c5. And f3 discovery, and uh, you cannot defend this bishop. So he took it, played with the knight in order to protect from the spin on this diagonal. And they traded. Um, and in this position, there are different ways of winning, yeah, but uh, uh, Duda just ex ex traded the. Uh, the queens and uh, there is no way that you cannot take this pawn because um, the pawns are not going anywhere and uh, you have to trade them and give at least one addition and uh, yeah so uh, unfortunately he cannot capture this uh, because of um, this check and uh, sorry so so this is totally winning for um, for white. All right. Um, so both players, uh, um, not both, but three players will continue fighting for the second place potential uh, match against Nepo, and Nepo is uh, leading big with uh, four rounds to go. Okay. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.